What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Rihanna J here with a video using new Hourglass products as well as I incorporated some products that I already have from the brands into this video. I do have a ton of their products to share because I am a huge fan of the brand. Hourglass has consistently put out great quality products and some of their products are my holy grail products. So I'm excited to share with you guys my thoughts on all of these new products as well as demonstrate them in a tutorial for you guys a little bit later on in the video. As you guys know, Hourglass is a very classy brand and they offer just really everyday staples in your makeup collection. So you're not really going to find very loud products, products that are super colorful in their lineup because this is a really sophisticated brand. Of all the products that I'm going to be using in this video, I only have two truly new products. The two newest products that I added to my Hourglass arsenal are one of the graphic eyeshadow palettes and I have this one in the color Vista and I added one of the new Vanish Flash lightning sticks and I'll tell you in a second which one I got. So let's go ahead and jump into the details. So first talking about the eyeshadow palettes, like I said these are called the graphic eyeshadow palettes. These retail for $58 and in each palette there are five different colors. So here's the packaging of the eyeshadow palette and I grabbed the color Visa. I picked Visa because it offered the colors that I felt like fit my lifestyle and my makeup tastes. This one is a really pretty variation of colors that I have in my collection but you know sometimes you just need to update your collection and add in new everyday basics and I felt like even though these are neutral eyeshadows I honestly don't have an updated variation of these colors in my collection. The details on Nordstrom.com says that these are eyeshadow palettes that offer saturated color with blendable matte, satin, and metallic shades. It says each palette features five complementary shades of finely milled ultra smooth formulas to create endless looks with depth and dimension. The velvety smooth texture of the formulas allow for flawless blending and application and contain a high concentration of pure pigment for the truest color payoff. What I like about these palettes is that the colors really complement each other like the description says. The formula of these eyeshadows is really really nice. I feel like what Hourglass does the best is powders and powder formulations. Next we have the Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick and I only grabbed one of these just because I feel like this one was the one that was most complimentary to my complexion. I swatched all of the highlighting sticks. I swatched them with no flash. I swatched them with flash. I love the Vanish packaging. I feel like it's so cool. I love the triangle and then I love that the highlighting stick got a makeover and is chromed out. The description says it is a highlighter that gives skin an instant flash of light for unparalleled glow in a smooth weightless texture. Soft focus technology creates a flash of light on on the skin for a virtually perfect highlight while the long wearing innovative formula adjusts to your body temperature so that it effortlessly blends into the skin. I applied my on top of my powder after I had set my face. I honestly meant to apply this underneath the powder and then go back on top of it to layer it and I didn't do that because I totally forgot. But I applied it on top of the powder and what I really liked about the product is that it did not break up my makeup, it laid beautifully, and it didn't give me a cakey look like cream products can oftentimes do. However, what I'm really not feeling about the product is that I feel like it's just super subdued and it doesn't pop on my complexion. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and I am going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial part of this video and I will talk to you guys very soon. Enjoy! The first thing that I'm going to do is my eyes. I already have a little bit already on my eyes. I set my eyes with my paint pot and I used Painterly Paint Pot and then I used an ABH eyeshadow in the color Fawn because I didn't really have a true light enough transition color. So now I'm going to go in with the colors from this palette to add in more depth. Going in with my Tom Ford number 13 brush, I'm going to take the color Rich which I know is going to be a beautiful chocolate brown. I'm going to put this color right in my crease. Oh wow, see that was really, really pigmented. I don't necessarily want this color to be my transition color because it's a little bit too dark for my complexion. This one is more so of a defining color for me. 
So I'm just going to take this right in my crease back and forth and then once I get towards the inside, I'm going to lightly swirl the color in just to blend it. This color is building up really pretty. I don't feel like I need to go over it a lot of times. I think that looks good. That looks really nice and blended. Now I'm going to switch to a MAC 221 brush, which is a more tapered blending brush. And I'm going to take the color black, which is a matte black eyeshadow, dabbing a bit on the brush. Tapping off the excess, which is not a whole lot of excess that's coming off of these eyeshadows. Actually, I really don't see any at all. But I'm going to take this color right on the very outer corner and blend it a little bit up into the crease, but not too far up. And apply this color. So I'm just patting the color on and you can go back and forth and layer it. I would take my time with this step because black can easily over intensify any look. And so for it to not overpower, you just have to take it in baby steps. And then once you have the color applied, just slightly begin to blend it upwards. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadow Champagne Gold. It's going on the brush so smoothly. I'm going to apply this right on my inner corner and make sure to blend it over and upwards on my lid. Same brush, I'm going to take the color Bronze and tap that right next to Champagne Gold. And this color is really nice. Names are so spot on. They're no fuss, no muss. But I'm just patting that on right next to that color, making sure to blend it. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with the color Deep Olive. And I want that color right here in the center where I left a little space open for it. But I'm going to blend this next to bronze as well as next to black. And this is going to be like my center stage color. I'm going to take a break on my eyes and go to my face. I'm going to take a little bit of the Vanish Stick and I have the color Honey. And I want to apply some of that. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I think that looks really, really good. So now I am going to go ahead and do my concealer as well as set my face with powder. And then I'll be back to use the rest of the Hourglass products. This is the Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. I'm just basically going to lightly pat this on the high planes of my cheeks. I'm going to blend this out with a brush. This is a MAC 196 brush. The news is is that you can apply it on top of powder and it won't really disrupt the look bad news is is that this color is not popping really on my complexion it just is kind of flat it's not really providing too much oomph it's like a base for other products to go on top I'm coming back to that I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner voyeur waterproof liquid liner and I don't really want a wing today I'm going to do a moderate line of eyeliner I can do detailed work with this liner but it's not very flexible when I get to the inner corner which that can lead me to poking myself in the eye which I've done several times using this and it really is harder to get a super straight line because it's not flexible and you have to really bend your wrist and the applicator doesn't really go with the flow of your hands. Once you have on the liner, I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line. Well, actually, I'm going to go in with the detailer brush. This is a Tom Ford number 15 brush. I'm going to go back with the color Champagne Gold, re-intensifying the top inner corner. I'm going to trace it along the lower inner corner. I'm going to go back with the color Deep Olive and the same detailer brush and trace it along the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do some eyeliner, mascara, and then, I know I'm doing my face so out of order, I'm going to come back and do the rest of my face with you guys. So I have this little palette that they released for holiday 2017, but if you don't have it, the good thing is the majority of the products in here are products that are permanent. I'm going to mix diffuse light and dim light together 
And I'm going to just lightly brush that on the high planes of my cheek as well as underneath my eyes. Just that all over my face because it gives like such a beautiful glow. I'm going to take my absolute favorite bronzer of all time, Luminous Bronze Light. And I'm going to bronze my face. So now I'm going to go in with the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. Kind of mix them all together. I'm not going to be real picky about it today. And I'm going to apply this as my highlight. This is supposed to give you like that traditional bling blow highlight that we've been accustomed to. On me though, it still is a very light highlight. Lastly for lips, I don't have an hourglass lip liner, so let me line my lips real quick. Now I'm going to take one of my absolute favorite lipstick formulas. Hourglass's new lipsticks are fire. They are so perfectly matte. They're not overly drying. They give like this beautiful finish. I have two of them, but I absolutely have to have more. This one is in the color I'll Never Stop. everything looks beautiful I am going to go ahead and spray with some fix plus of course because I need that hydration so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comments section which products was your favorite that I used in this video tell me what your favorite hourglass products are overall I look forward to reading you guys comments and before you leave before you leave this is very important don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel that way you can keep up with me whenever I upload new content, which is very, very regularly. And I will see you all in my very next video. Smooches. Bye.